they've hoped for, but we're gonna see what they could potentially pull off here. And not to mention Shadow Burn. I don't actually know if you if you know Jamerson, if he's been in the US for a while. I'm not sure. He has to be in the US to be mm -hmm. playing here yeah. for this match. And we talked about, you know, Shatter playing with 15 ping. Well, what about, you know, the other great Genji player, Shadowburn? Yeah, I mean, I believe he was playing with like 230 when he was doing a lot of these North American tournaments and there also playing at like four, five in the morning. And that can really take its toll on yeah. you. But I'm not too sure actually when he uh, came on in. Right now, it is going to be selfless starting off on the defensive end. Emong actually going uh, to pick up that Winston. And it looks like it's going to be a largely uh, selfless composition. Position. Carpe on that 76. Sinatra, of course, picking up the Tracer. Yeah, I mean, Sinatra, if he's not playing Tracer, maybe Sorry will be in the mix. We've seen, mm -hmm. actually, I don't know if we actually, no, we did see during the, the show match between USA and Canada how strong his Zarya can be, but obviously that's maybe a little bit of a different situation depending on how you want to look at it. No, it's, uh, it's seen, always been strong. Yeah, I've seen in his, tri like his tryouts for the World Cup team um, that his Zarya is insane, and actually teams will invest like Nanoboost into him just to build up those Graviton Surge a little bit quicker. But face clan on the attack, it looks like they're gonna be running the Farah. So we're gonna have the Farah with the Mercy with Rockus, and we're gonna have Louie, one of the newest additions to the team, on Genji here. Yeah, so we got the 2-2-2 two, two, two composition coming out. Phase Clan out the gates here. Now, Carpe will be able to apply some pressure onto Rockus and Shadowburn, but it's gonna be very difficult with the dive coming in from Phase. Well, at least they're able to force him out of his position. I mean, Midnight, all the pressure's gonna be on him to mitigate this damage, but they've been able to force Carpe out of the high ground spot, which is allowing him, or at least the potential for Vase kind of pick him off. He's on a third HP here. He needs to be protected by the best he can. Yeah, Selfless doing a good job of just, you know, making sure they're not out in the open for Shadowburn just to get some free rockets off. He's only at 30% ult, but there it is. Midnight gets the first frag onto Louie, and the second one, Fact Fiction going on down. It looks like Selfless will be able to repel this attack. So, Phase Clan. She's gonna limp away. Are they gonna be able to pick up this kill onto the Mercy? No, she gets out right behind that bus. Whew, that was a little close and could have been big. But take a look, Rockus has that resurrection at the ready. So if they want to go ahead and push into this next team fight, use that res early and then uh, continue on that fight, that could be super strong. Uh, I don't know, is Selfless going to expect that res to already be out there for them? Oh, I mean, I would hope they would be able to. I hope the hack would be able to actually be able to keep this in mind. They're going to pop the sound bear down. So that actually maybe leads me to believe maybe they don't because that's something you want to save coming into the actual res. But Rockus gets dropped by Sinatra of all people. The Tracer played on the high ground with him. Now, God, they don't have the res. And Carbon picks up the kill in a Shadow Burn. This should halt Face Clan in their tracks. Yeah, you really do have to be careful playing that Mercy, right? Sure, you can take to the skies, but there's a certain amount of verticality here um, that we've been seeing Sinatra using. He's been dashing back and forth between both ledges, right, on the left side and on the right-hand side. So that lets him close the distance a little bit onto Rockus and just spam him down. And so we'll see if Rockus makes the adjustments for that. I mean, Carpe too on the soldier really helps quite a bit here. And they bought a lot of time for Michael to build up his transcendence. The question is, do they want to pop it before or after? Will even have the opportunity to? The attack vibes are going to be coming out of Carpe, looking for some sort of kill to Louis off to the side. It actually, hasn't been chipped away at all. So imagine Louis is going to be looking for some sort of avenue to pull off this attack because they know they have the res. They lost out on two people. Carpe's on the ground though. That's the problem. The three-man res is going to come in, but unfortunately, Shadowbird gets killed right after the res goes off. Yeah, you want a res into at least an equalization. Here is the self-destruct, but nothing coming of it quite yet. Yeah, Dragon Blade does come on out from Louie. He finds one kill onto Sinatra. Will he be able to connect onto a second? We see Midnight getting popped out of his mech there, but Louie was taken out by Carpe. To hack, he gets a second sound barrier down so far in this game. That's insane. This man's been doing so much healing, or at least has to have been. Carpe picks himself up another kill. Most importantly, just not dying. He used a visor in the beginning of this fight, and he's built up to 80%. That just shows how much raw damage this guy has been doing. Oh man, that pressure being applied by Emong onto that pharmacy combo. That was so impressive to watch. He was just hunting them down, kept them super low. He eventually fell, but that allowed Sinatra to clean both of them up. And yeah, when you res, you gotta make sure that no one else dies behind it. But Louis starts it off with a pick onto Carpe. Very big kill, actually, considering he almost had his visor yet again. 55 seconds remain for phase plan, but Sinatra takes down Joe Meister. He didn't have sound barrier, but either way, that kill does stop their push. At least slows their push down without that extra speed off of this man. And not to mention the healing, but Rockus. 
Hero has his res again. Die. Gonna use it only on a Joe Meister because they realize we want that extra healing. We want this man advantage. Yeah, and they do corner Iman there with the primal mate. Rage back fiction comes on in, but Carpe, he's got that tactical visor at the ready. Tries to hunt him down. They are able to break LOS onto him. Mercy a little caught out in the distance. That's actually Louis there. Brought down low, but he's gonna get healed up now. Carpe though, just uh, he's got the spotlight treatment coming out. Both divas using the defense matrix on him, but now in the skies, it is gonna be Shadowburn dropping real low. Spree, he's out of his mech. He will get forced back there and finished off by Sinatra. And now FaZe Clan, 10 seconds away from not even capping. A third of point A. This is looking really bad for them. They're actually being shoved directly into their base. So Joe Meister dies. Well, he has sound barrier up. Is the person even to contest the point? Yes, there's going to be a person on it. It's going to be, I thought I heard a tracer, but maybe it's just a diva. Maybe it's Spree's going to be the man over there. But either way, who it is is going to be picked off. Louie goes down. Shadowburn trying to fly back in to maybe force this overtime yet again. He has his barrage ready to use. He's going to pop it off. Gets it onto Carpe. But no, Carpe gets the kill onto him. Rockets is going to fall right after the rest comes through, which he reses Louie. And the sound is finally to come in for Joe Meister, but it's just onto him. Spree's going to fall. Joe Meister's going to uh, die eventually. And that will be that first point hold, not giving up that third. Yeah, that's a huge win condition for Selfless at that point. And honestly, Iman was doing an amazing job. Con consistently on that Winston, he was pressuring the pharmacy combo. And you have to realize that, yeah, if you jump up there, they're generally clumped up. So you're going to get that AoE damage onto both of them. And then Sinatra just mm -hmm. peppering them away every single time. He was, we saw there in the end when uh, Rockets tried to come in for that res, he had to panic and use that res early because he was dropping super low and he didn't want to die with it. So he only got one been, off of it. That had to be miscommunication a little bit, whether it was him or whether it was Shadowburn wanting to use his barrage right then when he knew Mercy would be trying to use a res. But the man on Selfless we've been talking about has been Carpe. And actually, it's funny. Yesterday, I got, or last night, I got a Snapchat from their coach, Legit RC. And mm -hmm. he was showing me a picture of something they have right next to his right next to his desk. And it's a whiteboard filled out with words in English and their translations in Korean. So they can help uh, you know acclimate him to speak in English mm -hmm. to be able to communicate with the team. So words like bait, focus, mini, mega, bench point, uh, boost me, get ready for, for boost, stuff like that is something that they're trying to help teach him. And I think even maybe learn a little bit of Korean to help assimilate him a little bit into this team. So Selfless really investing you know, a lot into him as a player. And with what we just saw right there out of him on the first point defense, why not? That man went off. Yeah, and it really is interesting to see because on teams like what, Immortal, right? They have three Koreans on their roster so far. So it's uh, been a lot of the slack picked up by the English speakers to learn a bit more Korean. Yeah. And they're saying that it actually does uh, make for faster call outs, uh, faster communication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But man, at this point, FaZe Clan really up against it, against Selfless here. Uh, Selfless just on the verge of taking this first map. Remember, they only need to take 33%. Is it 33 or 33.1? Hmm. I actually don't know the answer. I don't to that. really quite remember. <laughs> well, I think it's 33. I think it's just 33. I don't know. Um, you know, yeah, it's like what? A third of the point. Not necessarily mm. difficult to do. But then again, phase 10 could put off on the attack. All right, so out the gates are selfless. They are just going to run a 2 2 2 that we've been seeing often. Now, the interesting thing is on the defense, phase clan are going for the pharmacy again. Okay, so they want to use the ability to have mercy bounce in between both points and be able to have an escape mechanism with the help of Shadowburn to keep him alive. The problem is there's no Genji being run by Carpe. The soldier's just gonna be to take down Fact Fiction. And then Rockus is dead. All right, well, you know, I can't really get hyped up for this one because with two men already down, losing one healer, it looks like Selfless is gonna take this with relative ease. They even get the mech out from Spree there. Carpe cleaning up Spree. And now it's all Selfless. They haven't lost a single member. It is ticking up and there's nowhere near them to try and contest that point. So Selfless, easy. Map one victory against FaZe. So look at how they actually attack that, right? They got into that tiny room behind the point. And what does that do for that position? Well, you got a Winston shield to mitigate any damage. All the damage has to be funneled in one direction. Mm -hmm. So you're not only mitigating a lot more of the shield, you're also using the D.Va defense matrix to eat a lot more damage. When you have your soldier carp base set up like that, he's gonna get a lot of free damage off, especially if your rock is you know, bouncing from point to point, location to location, because you don't have any ranged healing with an Ana yeah. or the Zenyatta. So eventually Rockus will die, just trying to keep his teammates alive. It also kind of works as like a bottleneck, right? Because they're exactly. trying to send all the, um, all the men in there. They have to just base them off in one direction. That allowed Carpe, he was just kind of standing still. He wasn't even like mm -hmm. AD, AD, or... AF, AF? He's like trying to... AD. AD, AD. W, oh my gosh. Have you been playing yeah. FPS as long, mate? Wow. 
I'm sorry. I, I don't look down at my keyboard. I'm I saw, sorry. I, I wondered what that controller was in your backpack. I, oh, I I've been know. outed. Oh, yeah. I've no. been outed. Hey, but Grandmaster with a controller. That's actually, that, that's pretty impressive on uh, the old PC. I feel like I've made some enemies just now. But um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, D.Va. Midnight playing that D.Va. And we, we've talked about the importance of Defense Matrix and utilizing it. It's not always as clear-cut and as it was just now. I mean, stand by.